Jennifer Ott takes us inside that walk, and that is Positively Idaho. This year, the MDA Muscle Walk completely surpassed that goal of 16000 raising $19,000. And organizers told me that compared to last year, they had at least 100 more people show up. Step by step, these local families are hoping to change lives, hoping to get one step closer to a cure for muscular dystrophy disorders. One of the walkers, Ruth Ridgway, was mourning the loss of her husband. He died of Lou Gehrig's disease. And the most difficult part was uh, watching my husband as he was very strong and was able to do many things. And as the disease progressed, he became weaker and weaker. As Ruth walks, she says she has a very special memory of him. Thinking of last year at this time, my husband was here. We were uh, walking. He was in a wheelchair, um, and I I'd be thinking about him. And also, among these walkers, the Carrier family has a son, Jacob, with a type of muscular dystrophy disorder called mitochondrial myopathy. You know, it makes you... Uh it runs the emotional gamut day in and day out of how you feel about the disease and how you feel about your son and his future. But we keep looking to Jacob, and Jacob shows us strength. They say rather than giving hope to their son, Jacob gives them inspiration with his endless optimism. It was fun. It was great. Full of energy, muscular dystrophy didn't weigh these walkers down. Today, Six and K-Hits 107.1 co-sponsored the event, along with our very own Don Nelson emceeing and pumping up the crowd. Can you make some noise? fundraiser we do that is driven by local families who receive services um, so it's a lot of people out there who are really passionate about finding a cure muscular dystrophy disorders are a group of muscle diseases that can cause loss of energy and inability to walk among other varying symptoms today's walk will benefit more than 560 local families that receive services from MDA in the studio Jennifer all Fox 9 news at 9